really don't. <laughs> on dynamic mode fun bikes great bikes but if you're irresponsible anyway i'm always super excited to go meet up my boy jojo all right what's good mike's in the building welcome to another video boys we're currently on the aprilia r660 doing some dope mods on the bike but as i took that turn something hit me on my thigh so i pulled over and make sure everything is fine and dandy let's jump back on and uh get back to the action i just want to make sure everything is good though stuff like that definitely makes me a little nervous yeah nothing all right let's see if my bag is closed bag is closed so that's good you guys want to hear it I'm on dynamic dynamic mode. I'm not doing nothing crazy. Just really trying to. Point A to point B today. Whew. It is a hot one, boys. It is a hot day. And, uh, shit. I got me really nervous, man, about something flying off. Thinking of doing cruise control. Uh, riding the um, how do you call it riding the uh, HOV lane just to kind of cruise I did did a little bit more spicy riding um, try to keep those off the YouTube dummy <laughs> oh, man. this bike has a lot of options guys but it does have some not so great options let's see if I can get the um, cruise control on. Nothing yet, huh? I figured I would dip and dodge and dodge. Let's see if I can get this on. I don't put the cruise control on often, so I don't really know how <laughs> to turn it on and off as much. I tend to forget, but you guys can tell I'm on the cruising mode because you see the Brazoma stealth mirrors are open. That means I'm just chilling. Usually if you see that they're down, that means I'm slicing through traffic and staying ahead of traffic. That means I'm not. I don't need to head check. Well, I don't need to check my mirrors. I'll just head check to quickly go through it. But we're currently heading out to my boy Jojo's garage. We're gonna do some well-needed mods on the Aprilia RS 6 feet as usual. Because the bike is missing some stuff to make it truly special. We're gonna black out the back. The uh, chain adjuster. That's gonna be pretty dope. Also going to do the rear sets that's been like a long time coming and I've been waiting for that for a hot minute because I don't take full advantage of this motorcycle due to the nature of the fact that your boots or your riding shoes will damage the spring arm and I like to keep my bike somewhat pristine you know what I'm saying nothing wrong with that you know I just I like my stuff to be neat again don't mistake that for not using it because I do put it into the work I just like to keep it neat <laughs> and then we're gonna do a gold train really dope <laughs> um, what else do we have we might have some other cool MAPD stuff we might throw onto the bike that's always very fun and uh, if you guys are looking for those MAPD parts you can hit up my boy Jojo's site and you'll be able to grab them from there. A little aggression on dynamic mode. Why not? <laughs> Hopefully my sound's coming in clear because 
it's been rough recording this bike, especially going at full speed and full talk. But I hope you guys are enjoying these uh, Frilia videos, man. I'm really loving sport bike lifestyle. However, it comes with a lot on the plate, guys. We're talking about aggressive, 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 aggressive riding. You know, you're basically moving ahead of everybody at all times, really, to be the safest. Also, since you're in an attacking position, it's almost like second nature to uh, to want to go fast. You know, you like tuck, you're ready to go, and you just want to make that happen. So, meaning, more tickets. <laughs> You know everything else double the trouble everything else so you got to be mindful you got to be mature about yours to enjoy these bikes i gotta say and uh yeah really that's pretty much it really i couldn't even lie to you guys fun bikes great bikes but if you're irresponsible and you're living on the edge already man this this could be therapeutic or it could be life-changing in a good way or in a really bad way too so <laughs> oh, let's get some air in there little face down vlogs are always great because you guys got to actually hear me and stuff so anyway i'm always super excited to go meet up with my boy jojo he has a really dope garage super passionate about moto gp he doesn't ride street anymore he mainly rides um track and the guy's an amazing rider and um, he just finds his true passion being on the track and really pushing his bikes and uh, for those of you guys might want to figure out who he is he is a gentleman with the V4R custom V4R I want to be a little bit clearer here not your not your everyday buy the bike out the dealership and take it home style of bike his bike is uh, truly custom great guy <laughs> I just like hanging out with him just chatting up man we don't have to be doing anything so it's gonna be a fun day at least I'm gonna enjoy just hanging out so. bikes is that your thing naked bikes supermoto i love sport bikes but man i really truly love supermotos i have so much fun with these bikes and um i just feel like i'm a little bit safer in terms of getting into trouble legal trouble that is with this bike so well with the with the uh supermotos but this bike here you know i find myself hitting that 140 mark often and just just really pushing the bike and seeing what it's uh, made out of and uh, and it's like a norm so much so that my wife is not a, a huge fan of me riding this bike often she does notice a level of aggression and excessiveness that happens when I'm on this bike and she's right <laughs> what about you guys let me know in the comment section down below man how do you guys feel about your the bikes do you like adventure bikes sport bikes naked bikes supermotos what is your poison <laughs> i love them all and i'll probably have one of each at some point but some i do enjoy riding more than others but yeah comment down below let me know man i'll catch you guys on the next video peace